Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Midday Live with me, AC Benewa Otsu. Let's look at our top stories coming up in the next one hour. FAR destroys a number of shops at Kumasi Central Market. Also coming up, Ghana Water Company considering shutting down treatment plants at Dalong in the northern region. We will tell you why. And on the far in front, two teenage men arrested in connection with a terror-related killing of journalist Lira Maki. We have the details of these stories, including sports and entertainment, all coming up in the next one hour. Let's move on to our very first story now. The police have announced the closure of some major roads in Kumasi ahead of the Akwesidai Kesi uh, on Sunday, which also climaxes the 20th anniversary celebration of the Asante Hene. The closure is to ensure free flow of traffic and instill security as dignitaries from Ghana and other parts of the world mark their, make their way to the Mensha Palace for the celebration. Here's a report by Benjamin Adu. The Akwesidae Kese will climax activities marking the 20th anniversary of the Asantehene on his ascension to the Golden Stone. President Ikufuado and all three former presidents of Ghana will join other dignitaries from within and outside Ghana to celebrate with the Asante King. Forty diplomatic corps members are expected to attend this important ceremony where rich Asante culture will be on display on Sunday. The Asantehene is expected to be carried in a palanquin from Apijafie to Menshia Palace. TV3 visit to part of Kumasi Metropolis and the Menshia Palace indicate readiness for the big event. Billboards of the Asantehene have been mounted at vantage point within the city and the palace has been adorned in the yellow, green and gold colors of Asanteman. Key roads within Kumasi will be blocked. Affected streets include Dr. Mesa to Menshia Palace, Airport Runabout to Menshia Palace, Asuansi Market area to Menshia Palace, among others. Motorists plying the Ashtown in Broome, Swami Runabout to in Broome, Kejitia to in Broome will also be affected. Leaders of the event planning committee spoke about their readiness for the event. On the 26th of uh, this month, I think the president of Ghana intends to honor our king. Then, after that, you know, Otum 4 was installed on 26th April 1999. That is precisely why the president has chosen that day to give him that great honor. Much as we were expecting very prominent dignitaries, we all thought that we we'll also still go through you to appeal to the general public and the Kumasi uh, inhabitants as to what is expected of us and what is supposed to do. This is what we've ruled out, that there will be the need for roadblocks, because in, mindful of the expected huge number that is coming, there should be a need for us to have several accesses. And also we are re-emphasizing that we'll create parking lots for these uh, inconveniences. The Ashanti Regional Police Commander, DCOP Kwesi Mensaduku, assured of adequate security during the event. As security services, we are mindful of our duties and responsibilities before, during and after the celebration. So the police, together with the military and other security services, are put in place measures to ensure that there will be an incident free before, during and after the celebration. Let's get more on that. And now let's cross over to Kumasi, where my colleague Nana Kwekwedua is standing by to update us on final preparations Thank ahead you, of uh, the Akwesi uh, Dai on uh, Sunday. Uh, Hello, uh, Nana. Uh, uh, Mensha Palace. So what you are seeing in your short is uh, final setup and preparations uh, towards uh, tomorrow's big uh, occasion. So, so you can see the carpenters doing their own thing. And when you turn, uh, look at the park itself. The camera will give you those shots. Uh, chairs are being set up. 
final setup is being done right now uh, for tomorrow's occasion. So we are counting down exactly what will happen. But to, to let us know more about it, uh, is the member of the planning committee and also uh, uh, Ochiame, uh, Otunfo's Chiame, uh, Bafo uh, Kantankrechi is here to tell us more. Nana, uh, 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 yes, uh, welcome to TV3. Yes, uh, yes, uh, now Bafo Kantankrechi, uh, now we Nana Bafo Kete, now we planning committee. Okay, Bafo Kantankrechi, Mbacho, Katrain, you say, Mudi Niyama Tutu Nakwemo. Time Ben, uh, a baby, and a time Ben, yes, 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 in call for best start to say, or more. I'm a medical madam, I said, to be true for. They say, I'm born on the good way. They say, I'm a good one, ten times you say, I will be a bad idea for better. And I'm better on my name. If you say, the Bianna, I'm committee, is the Ianna, I will for say, we're ready to be on Tana and Mochi. Sabaya will be a winner, be a Tana. If you say, can I stadium? They say in the stadium in the year from say Ben have some memory fee in her. I grab him and say to myself, be a boat, be a hand, etc. And then I say, we have both sides attend to know. I'm going to China and I'm going to tell you, who be in your bin tonight? Say, we'll put in the mook crabs or he'll be with my inquiry. We say, can I say you want to ask for one more? Who are what's one of those who would be a cosso? I also don't be able to be a mobile and be a crab. I have the cosso in our subet. Tina did be screen, so I see Tintim was a holding in an auto and never would be a cosso. And the second one is, I say, we have to go to the next I said, 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 I Yen <laughs> Bought the city of a Sihano and his uncle. And the old bar is saying, Oh, one foam. Uncle told me that bread. Would you know what to be out here? Would you know to be out here? You will say, We are my hero. Nasu will only offer cool. Mahma could do back home. Fuku could do back home so no sabi. On be any beer, Fuku be any popular in the Mukrano. Then yeah, I am for bears a Giasa. When you also start with this in Nina and Sana, or two for a chairman, two for one chain. You won't send here for. There was a bra for winning as a tin chain. There was my car for winning as a so. I was too for any more. Oh, several two or two for some money in an infant. Now, France or so, a cup of Macobes said, You know, me, you know, one and chain. O be asked what they are. And I said, I'm saying, you may have the most of a scat. A year, I said, Jacques is Kedja, be Pia Bontin, I said, be whatever better I say. A most of Santa Maya, a cra, a piece, I may have the much now, Cosino. So comprehensive outlook of what will happen tomorrow is what is given. But Nana, patch of off for Chemi. Mr. Wa, na I'm on for Semoyen with Stadium, Oshe and Crofire Bar, a Dosso. I have no almost by Omade to two stadium, almost a and shut down Queen in crowd, no China because I had a big occasion. Mobe then I'm also saw the number of crowd near Banning. And then you cry. We'll be able to be at now. no head of fear in Finn Munua. One for Bassa, what trans will be a one of you. In fear do, sir, in fear do no more. One for the parking, so I will say, I'm certainly an internet. I see a yenna. Tina has a yellow boat, the yellow boat. You watch the more behind you. I have a friend of a bear set. I had nine. So, where this we near Bonnie Haya, a bonnie president in general, as some go cry. You move is our hada. I have a friend of a bear set. Never to find the power, say, no. And you say, Nipa, who won the Balmot City, ten ten to no etchira, and no more anymore. I don't know, be a bit of a trunk, come on. We have found out who they are fighting in our several year, I will rule, and soon come will be a first time as this will be a say, and no bit more bomber, heat, no, ever from. And that day, you know, seven chairs today, it's never something finished today. Seven do over, you know, oh, you know, I want to ask you. Where's an eye, some go cry? And this ain't this way, dear, said you may.
to be able to be able to come out. Who knew that was the Jubilee? A be best on Ukra. That's it. So, near Kasai. So, Bafo Kenton Kreche is uh, a member of the planning committee and uh, Otun Force Chiani uh, gave us that detail of what will happen tomorrow. So, uh, it's a comprehensive outlook of what will happen. But before I, I, I come back to you, uh, if you look at my extreme right, you can see uh, the security services. I spoke to uh, their leader early on when they are now in the meeting to look at how to deal with the crowd tomorrow. But you can see they are ready, getting ready as well there in your shot. So the security is, is, is ready to, to deal with the crowd tomorrow or to, to provide security for everybody here who will be attending uh, this uh, function. Dignitaries are expected all over the world and as well as local uh, uh, dignitaries as well. So, AC is a comprehensive outlook, uh, if you ask me, and that is what TV3 will be bringing our viewers. Uh, probably later in the evening, we'll come back uh, to our viewers to show them exactly the final uh, preparation, what has been set out uh, for tomorrow's occasion. So, uh, AC, back to you. Thanks so much, Nana, for that update, and we're looking forward for more uh, this evening and subsequently. Uh, let's still stay in Kumasi, but rather on a sad note, because parts of the Kumasi Central Market uh, were scattered by far last Friday. About six fire tenders uh, were used to douse the inferno. Correspondent Beatrice Piogaba reports some affected traders affected by the fire are recounting their losses. About six years ago, fire got to the spot of the Kumasi Central Market. Here, what the traders basically do in are second-hand clothing and foodstuffs. Last night, around 11 p.m., fire guarded exactly this place again. And when you come here this morning, some of the affected traders are salvaging through the debris to see if they can save up some of their clothing, that is the used clothing that they sell. I have some of the affected traders here who will be sharing with us what... Um, they heard concerning this fire and what they've been trying to do. Madam Bacho, be unse we ni abra wose sa ni amakakra. Ede na oni fa eje ya eto hayo. Eje ya de anope ya sole ya. Eh enu anajo. Eni eti se eje ya to hanum. Inti anope se ya ba eni eni emeni na. Ese ya fani ya maba akukura. E ya fani ya se ya eni emeni na ya ka. Besi pa ya kofa begu hanum no. Enu abe pa ya kofa begu hanum. Okay. Pacho, a day now, you may quite buy a Jennifer Sweshi. Ah, the a bear run by eight to croak more museum. Anna, Yandy, or Hamo, now, Madame Fubacu, or no, or Bonite, or Uniti, a friend, and Yama. One of Flames or Catram say, But you, your fast and a blana, a friend, they will say, Gibby Ed, Ed, that way, a friend, a home in Tamla, and the Mabaya, and who say, a friend, they get out to your home, my Eddie. No more home in a ash, there's a no more watch my washer, who to a new baby, a madam Sachria, and no more home in a a man for a monk one head, a go watch my Annie Nasha, a friend of Mina, yeah, pat him a bed or home with any dear Baku Cran Woman, I am fifteen crowd. No, no, I have to honor your baby as a bia, no boy at dinner, Nakazabia with the eh, no mean I had it. Ash, ain't you, Osha, one of us say, I'm what and Patano. Okay. Nisita dear five, Mimi dear one, or no sort dear two. It's a brace I assure you, I put him dear, you can cry, was some as I know ma, yetcha, a force, a yetcha beer, entire. Mhm. Nina, she said, Yes, it's such a near your high year. You see, I knew more beer. 
So what these um, affected traders are saying is that they heard about 8 p.m. that fire has gutted the area where they sell their second-hand clothing. They got here around 11 p.m. and all their shops were gutted by fire. About 100 shops are, or traders are affected here, those who have um, shops or sheds where they sell second-hand clothing. All of them have been gutted by the fire. And for them, they are trying to clear up the debris so that they can restart their business again. From Central Markets, Beatrice Spiogabra, TV3 News, Kumasi. Thanks, Beatrice, for that. Let's do other stories. And the Ghana Water Company is considering shutting down its treatment plant at Dalon in the northern region. The northern regional police public relations officer, Ni Abi, who gave the hint, said the company is unable to treat adequate water due to high siltation levels from sand winning activities. The treatment plant supplies water to residents in Tamale, Zablugu, Tolong, Kumbungu, and its environs. Water from the plant is currently being rationed. According to the Ghana Water Company, it does not get enough raw water to treat for consumption since the white water is heavily polluted as a result of sun winning activities. The illegal sun winning should operate within the buffer zone. At least if they stay off 100 meters away from the river, they can still carry out their operations and we can also operate without any obstacles. But currently with what is happening, you can see that the activities are taking place in the river itself, where to the extent that some have blocked parts of the river from flowing. The company says it will be compelled to shut down the treatment plant if the sun winners are not stopped. Because the treatment plant is designed to abstract raw water and not mud. And with what they are doing, there's a lot of siltation as far as the river is concerned. And if care is not taken, we may have to suspend our operations. The company has also commenced stakeholders engagement on the state of the Volta Lake. The United Nations has pledged to support efforts spearheaded by the National Peace Council aimed at finding a lasting solution to political vigilantism in Ghana. The UN Secretary General Special Representative for West Africa and Sahel, Dr. Mohamed Ibn Chambas, who made this known as a lecturer in Accra, was hopeful the parties would reach a consensus. Nations Secretary General Special Representative and Head of the United Nations Office for West Africa, Andy Sahel Unowas, was the main speaker of the Council on Foreign Relations Ghana Second Distinguished Guest Public Lecture Series in Accra. He noted the United Nations is concerned about the growing threat of terrorism, political violence, as well as political vigilantism in the West African sub region and the Sahel. Dr. Ibn Chambas maintained the violence that erupted at the Ayaso Wells were gone by election in January once again amplified the phenomenon of political vigilantism in Ghana. He however proposed that relevant stakeholders must be made to see elections for what they are, simply a battleground for ideas, policies and programs. Not a situation to instigate and foment hatred and violence against opponents and communities. A life lost during an electoral period is a death too many and undercuts the very essence of participatory democracy and governance. He lauded effort by the National Peace Council aimed at finding a lasting solution to the menace and pledged his outfit support. In order to sustainably respond to the phenomenon of vigilantism void of partisanship, the United Nations remains committed to lend its support to the ongoing national efforts led by the National Peace Council and remains hopeful that all parties will participate in reaching a consensual agreement in comprehensively addressing this phenomenon. On elections in the West African sub-region, the UN Secretary General Special Representative for West Africa, Andy Sahel, lamented the winner-takes-all attitude as the root cause of electoral violence in the sub-region. cannot be oblivious 
to the fact that the winner-takes-all attitude towards elections as maintenance of power becomes the ultimate avenue for patronage have increased the stakes in electoral processes, making them a major source of pre- and post-election related violence. The West African sub-region would witness at least five general elections, including that of Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire, come 2020. Dr. Ibn Chambas urged all countries going to the polls to emulate the Nigerian and Senegal success story. There's also in Niger, in Togo, in Cote d'Ivoire, in Burkina Faso, in Guinea. And some of these could be fairly contentious. But our expectation is that they all follow the trend emerging in the region of peaceful, participative, uh, credible elections. He added that regardless of the might and resources of any given country in the region, peace and security cannot be underwritten by a state alone, but by the collective effort of state and the collective will and involvement of the populace. The lecture was on the theme, an agenda for building partnerships for peace in West Africa and the Sahel, challenges and opportunities. This is still Midday Live with me, AC Benewa Otu. Let's move on. And the UN Senior Migration Advisor in the Central Republic and former Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister, Emmanuel Bombande, has observed legislations cannot be the optimal uh, solution to ending political vigilantism in the country. He spoke to TV3 Selom Amenya on the sidelines of a public lecture in Accra. The Attorney General, Gloria Kufu, on Thursday, April 11, presented before Parliament a new bill seeking to criminalize and disband all forms of political vigilantism in the country. This was after the President had asked the political parties to meet, but they failed to do so. The AG is asking the parliamentarians to, under a certificate of urgency, approve the Vigilantism and Related Offenses Bill 2019 that the government intends to use to end acts of violence perpetrated under the guise of vigilantism by the United Nations Senior Mediation Advisor in the Central African Republic insists the legislation alone is not enough. Let's be very clear. Every legislation equally demands that when the bill is passed and the president assents to it, it will call for enforcement. The legislative processes to ban vigilantism in themselves will be as weak as the political will to enforce them. Otherwise, you are trying to solve a problem by creating new problems. Because when the bill is assented to and it is not enforceable, it now becomes a new problem in addition to the fact that we have the vigilantism. He however indicated the decision of asking the two major political parties to meet to fashion out how to disband the vigilante groups was a wrong move, Arden. This calls for a broader consultation. Dialogue to ban vigilantism, in my view, is a very first attempt. But its weakness is the assumption that the New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress can meet, and out of that would come a, a, a resolution. Let's not kid ourselves. The best alternative is the dialogue process, but it must be inclusive. Now to the health sector, eight African countries have set up a pharmaceutical distribution association to check fake drug imports on the continent. The new association is expected to spearhead the expansion of drug manufacturing centers and promote quality health care. The Chamber of Pharmacy Ghana is a member of the association. Member countries include Algeria, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya and Zambia. The setting up of the chamber follows a decision by the African Union to streamline and harmonize the distribution of drugs on the continent. The association would also interpret drug dispensation to achieve universal health coverage. Board Chairman of the Chamber of Pharmacy Ghana, Harrison Abutiate, is hopeful the association will promote the manufacture of new drugs among member countries. If a drug arrives at the airport, what do we do or what is the process to clear it quickly? What is the process of conveying that drug 
to the wholesale? What is the process involved? If it is a cold chain product, how do we go through that cold chain system? When it arrives in your warehouse, how do you arrange the products in the warehouse so that when customers come and you want to serve them, how do you take the ones that are expiring quickly or first before you go to the ones that are expiring later? So you don't have a situation where you are keeping uh, the, the, the earlier expired goes behind and maybe losing them due to expiry. Chief Executive Officer of the Chamber of Pharmacy Ghana, Tony Ameka, highlighted a new agreement from the African Union on the promotion of quality drugs. We are told currently 18 countries have signed that treaty. So what we will say here is we will encourage other countries that have not yet signed the treaty to sign for the establishment of the agency. And when that is done, I think to also go a long way to ensure free flow of uh, quality medicines within the regions. The pharmaceutical distribution newsletter was launched. And Keta Business College in the Volta region is in a deplorable state. Management is seeking to raise 5 million cities to roll out renovation program. Keta Business College, Keta Busco, was founded in 1939 and has not seen any major renovation. Buildings in the school have not been painted for more than 30 years now. Keta Business College lacks a well-equipped library and a science laboratory for smooth academic work. There are no staff bungalows compelling teachers to stay outside the school premises. Support from the Ghana Education Trust Fund, Get Fund, has not been able to complete projects in the school. The situation has compelled management of the school to set up an endowment fund. The school has targeted to raise 5 million CDs. The amount is to be sourced from all students, governments and other agencies within a five-year period. National President of the All Students Association, Dr. Seth Anani, was hopeful the amount will help in rehabilitating the school. That if the government is pushing for free education, that everybody should be educated, it will be difficult for government to generate resources to finance every aspect of education. So we are taking it the, bull, the, bull, the bull by the horn, trying to go ahead of government with a strategy. And it is not just done ad hocly, it is a strategy. And that strategy is what we call the transformation agenda. And in that strategy, the endowment fund is coming to pull, it's a fuel that is going to push the generator to make sure that we accelerate the growth that we needed to a category A school in a short time. Director of ICT at the Ministry of Education, Kweju Edu, noted government is committed to providing infrastructure to enhance free SHS program. We believe that effective teaching and learning leads to the expected educational outcomes we seek in this country and that there is a need for better practices and goals for teaching. It is for this reason that the government places a huge premium on education as a fundamental tool for transforming our economic and industrial fortunes. Director in charge of the endowment fund, Dr. Simon Harvey, appealed to corporate agencies to assist. Previously, we raise funds anytime we want to do a project, but we realize that members feel that we've been coming to them too frequent for money. So we want to establish the fund so that everybody is free of this annual ritual of donating money for projects. Later, management of the school gave a seed money of 1,830 cities to support the endowment fund. Stay with us, we have more coming up after this break. Thanks for staying with us. The Korean ambassador to Ghana, Sang Soo Kim, has suggested the country combines multi-source energy to help power the industrialization drive. Speaking with Ibn Ijekum Boatin of our business desk, he noted what Ghana needs is an efficient and sustainable power supply to make the One District, One Factory initiative a success. Energy is the most the basic and important factor for the development and for the promotion of the uh, national uh, the, uh, uh, development. Republic of Korea's economic takeoff 
its rapid industrialization and economic growth began in the early 1960s under the direction of the military government. Korea's economy is the fourth largest in Asia and the 11th largest in the world, which has been achieved through the model of export-led industrialization. Korea is a natural resource scarce country. At the time of its industrialization drive, the Republic of Korea was an energy scarce country. The country started from hydropower. As Korea's economic development progressed and the need for electricity supply increased to support industrialization, the country diversified its power mix to include other renewables. Uh, we just not focus just single sector. We combine the multi the sector for the support of the natural resources and the electric electric power. Okay. So we combine the energy mix the, from renewable energy to uh, fuel the fossil the power the, the fossil uh, the energy resources. This has worked for Korea's industrialization and economic development. Ambassador of the Republic of Korea to Ghana, Sam Soo Kim, noted what Ghana needs is an efficient and sustainable power supply to make the One District, One Factory initiative a success. So there is the, our the energy policy. So I think the, that could be an example for, the, for Ghana to introduce for their the energy, uh, to support their energy need and energy shortage. Away from that, the Ministry of Trade and Industry has cautioned exporters against compromising on the quality of their products if they are to attract and sustain international patronage. The Ministry warned exporting standard, substandard products is uh, in a global competitive business environment will dent the image of Ghana and adversely affect the market base of the exporter. The Ministry of Trade and Industry is building the capacity of entrepreneurs in the share, fruits, vegetables, crafts and garment sectors of the Ghanaian economy. A seminar on trade for sustainable development exposed the businesses to available market opportunities and procedures for exporting their products. Ashanti Regional Manager of Trade, Mahmouda Usman, described the export sector as key in government's industrial transformation agenda. He said the ministry is working on initiatives to boost production of export products to stimulate economic growth. It is important to note that developing local products for export will help stimulate economic growth and also create more jobs. The Trade for Sustainable Development initiative by the International Trade Center aims at assisting SMEs to implement green business practices for sustainable economic growth. Deputy Chief Executive of the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, Emmanuel Dentu, called on actors in the export space to move towards sustainable production and consumption. It is imperative that producers, manufacturers and actors in the export space, including consumers, move towards sustainable imperative. Sustainable and Inclusive Value Chains Chief at ITC commended the business community in Ghana for adding value to their product. She, however, noted that good environmental health should be a component of business growth. Business growth should promote improvements in the well-being of workers and communities while maintaining the health of the environment around us. Similarly, ignoring the cost of climate change is not an option for long-term business growth. And that's it for business. Stay with us. In entertainment, international gospel hit maker Tim Godfrey and UK-based Ghanaian gospel artist Dinah Hamilton treated fans to soul-inspiring gospel tunes at the 21st edition of Harvest Praise. The show was held at the Fantasy Dome of a Trade Fair. The Fantasy Dome was a place to be 
on Good Friday as believers gathered in their numbers to celebrate through music, word ministration, among others, of this year's Harvest Praise. The annual event, now in its 21st year, treated the audience to a memorable gospel night with back-to-back -back soul winning songs from gospel artists and the Harvest Gospel Choir. The overgreen gospel sensation Diana Hamilton refreshed the minds of audience with some old tracks and ignited auditorium with her current tracks. From Nigeria came the worship dynamite, Tim Godfrey, who put up a soul-inspiring performance. It was a heartwarming moment when Tim Godfrey and his Nigerian crew performed the song in the Ghanaian dialect. Some patrons shared their views about the event. I have loved it and it's amazing because this is the way you can worship the Lord. It's been nice and it's been awesome. I was expecting something great and I've not regretted coming. It was great, it was exciting. I've come two or three times, but this was really wonderful. The Nara Hitmaker gave words of encouragement to the youth, especially young gospel artists. Every young person there trying to um, start up a career, keep doing what you're doing, keep getting better. Um, Joseph dreamt that he ruled, he became a king. He became the leader of his family and all of those things. And after he dreamt it, the next place he saw himself was in a hole. The next place he saw himself he was sold. The next time he was in a prison. It didn't happen immediately. There was a process. And there's a process for everything you want to become in life. You can't just there's you can't just skip process. If you skip process, you come down quickly. And that's all in news for this afternoon. Thanks so much for watching. My name is AC Benewa Otu. Do enjoy the rest of our programs. Good afternoon.